Okay, so now that you're an expert on gram to mole conversions, let's flip it and do mole to gram conversions. And you'll find in one example that you're going to be an expert on mole to gram conversions as well, because it's the exact opposite of what we did before. So let's convert 0.115 moles of lithium to grams. So the process doesn't change. You still start out with writing what you are given. So I've got 0.115 moles of lithium. I do my little conversion -y chart. Now, just like the last time, when you wanted to convert out of something, the units for what you were given go on the bottom, and the units for what you have go on the top. I'm sorry, the units for what you're given go on the bottom, and the units for what you want go on the top. So I want grams of lithium, and I have moles currently. So I know that any one mole of any substance is equal to the weight from the periodic table. So now I just look up at the periodic table, and I see that lithium is 6.94 grams per one mole. Now before you had to multiply, I'm sorry, you had to uh, divide your grams by your moles. Well now because we flipped everything, notice it's just the inverse of what we did before. So we're not going to divide grams by moles, we're going to multiply moles times the grams. So I'm going to go to my handy dandy calculator. And I'm going to slide it off to the side here so it's out of our way. And I'm going to take 0.115 times 6.94, and I get 0.798. Now again, there are one, one, two, three um, digits in my given, so therefore there are going to be three digits in my answer. And of course, again, I have units because this is an actual number of mass. This is a, a real substance in real life, not a point on a graph. So therefore, we have to have units on it. Let's try another example. Now, don't be confused by scientific notation. Scientific no does, notation doesn't change how you do a problem. I'm going to show you in a second how you can put it right into the calculator and have no issues. So it says, how many grams of how many grams is 5.05 times 10 to the negative 2 moles of sodium equal to? So you start by writing your given. 5.05 times 10 to the negative 2 moles of sodium. One mole is going to go on the bottom. The weight of sodium from the periodic table is going to go on the top. Now I rounded two places past the decimal, and sodium comes out to 23.9, I'm sorry, 22.99, but 23 is such an easier number to punch into the calculator, so I'm going to use that. So I go to my calculator. Now like I said to you, we are not going to, oh, I made a mistake in the last problem. I'll fix that in a second. Uh, we are not going to convert that number that we were given, the scientific notation. We're going to punch it in directly into the calculator just like it's given to us. So we go 5.05. Now we don't want to go the actual times 10 to the, that's not, not a, a logical way of doing this. I mean, it, it works, but you have to remember parentheses, and there's so many more steps you have to type in. So what you're going to do is you're going to go second, and you're going to hit the button above the 7, the comma button, and you'll get this E function. And E means times 10 to the. And now you just punch in negative 2, the exponent. Now that keeps that get together for you, and you don't have to worry about having any mathematical problems. And then times 23, and I get 1.16. And my first one was 7.798, so I'll fix that too. So this is 1.16 uh, grams of sodium. I will also go back and fix that previous problem, because I also realized I wrote the wrong units, 7.98 grams. So hopefully you looked at that and went, oh, Mr. Siegel, you're such a silly guy. So. Um, Yes, sometimes I make mistakes, people. Um, so those are the two problems, uh, converting them. It's, it's no different than if you're working with uh, elements or if you're working with compounds. So here, I've got compounds. So again, just like the last time, pause the video, do the problems out yourself, and then come back and see how I did them. So now hopefully you've got the answers to those problems. So let's work them out ourselves. 2.19 moles of sodium chloride. I think sometimes I need commercials in the middle of my videos. So, sort of like cooking shows where, you know, they dis they go away to co commercial break and they come back and, the you know, the cooking is half done. So, 
we got 2.19 moles of sodium chloride. Sodium chloride, sodium is 23. Chlorine is 35.45. That comes out to be 58.45. So now I'm going to multiply through. Clear that out. I got 2.19 times 58.45. And I've got 128.00, blah, 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 blah. But I only need three, three digits. So I'm going to round it to 128 grams of sodium chloride, which is a pretty decent amount of salt. So now let's go. How many grams of lead nitrate would you have if you had 1.49 times 10 negative 4 moles of it? So once again, start by writing your given. PBNO32. Draw the line. One mole goes on the bottom. The weight from the periodic table goes on the top. Now I'm going to need my calculator to do this. So I have to do a calculation because I've got a whole bunch of masses to work with here. So I've got um, 207.2 for the mass of lead plus 20, I'm sorry, let's do it long ways, 2 times 14.01 as the mass of the nitrogen plus, now remember that 2 is getting distributed, so that's not 5 there, that's 6. So it's 6 times because it's 3 times 2, 16 is 331.22 331.22 grams so since that number is already in the calculator for me I'm just going to multiply it now times 1.49 remember I'm going to use that second e negative 4 enter and I get 0.0494 Four. Now the zero doesn't count because it's just holding a decimal place. I still have to write it, but it doesn't count as one of my sig figs. So it's 0 0.0494 grams of lead nitrate. Again, always with the units. I cannot stress that enough. Ten points per problem. Half a point for the units, half a point for the answers. So, and that's how to do moles to gram conversion. It doesn't matter which ones I give you. It, they're exactly the same. Right? You're given convert from moles to grams by put, to getting the weight from the periodic table, calculate it out. In the next podcast, I'm going to show you how to do atoms and molecules and then also how to do multi-step conversions. So these are one-step conversions. I'm going to show you how to do ones that have two and three steps in them.